welcome to my channel Mama Z Night. Today I'm going to talk about the Dr. Brown's Baby Bottle Baby Part Sterilizer. Um, I use this a lot with my son James. I'm going to be using it a lot with my daughter. I just wanted to go over pros, cons, how to use it. Um, you do not need to use only Dr. Brown's products for this. I used a different bottle brand so I'll be talking about that. I also sterilized parts that were not just bottles, so this thing is pretty versatile, which is nice. If you haven't checked out my video on how to descale it, go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link in the description for that video, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, so here is the unit. Yes, I am sitting on my kitchen floor because that is just the easiest place for me to sit at the moment and easiest place for me to film with all of the things I'm going to show you. So anyways, it's also a little bit, it's got like condensation and stuff because I just descaled it and filmed that video. So um, that's why it looks the way it does. But here is the unit and down here, it just kind of gives you some directions. Um, you have the power button right here. And then once you have it plugged in and you hit power, you're gonna hit the play button here and then these will light up. So first it's gonna go um, to the cooling, to the heating, I'm sorry, the heating, and then it's going to have the check mark. And the check mark is, you know, when it's uh, ready to go. And then the cooling is at the very end of the process. And then it'll go back to the check mark. So that's when you know that the cycle is complete. So, like I said earlier, you don't have to use Dr. Brown's. Uh, products for this. I have a whole bunch of things laid out here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, I personally used the Komotomo bottles. These were just the bottles that my son preferred. Um, I'm filming this as he's napping too, so let me move that out of the way. I also would put in some passies, and they give you this handy little set of tongs so when things are really hot you can just kind of pick them up with the tongs to lay them out to dry so let me go through and I'll show you kind of what this unit's composed of so you're going to lift the top and this tray here is where I would put things like the passies and then I would do these go to the Komotomo bottles I would do nipples up here and then you could also do um, like bottle caps are helpful to sterilize some more nipples and you can kind of layer things. You can even go like that if you needed to. Um, for these, for example, the Dr. Browns, you are gonna wanna make sure everything is separated off. She's just gonna kind of separate the whole thing here. Lay all the parts in there to sterilize, you can do the top of it so that's just an example doesn't have to be neat doesn't have to be pretty but that's for like the top smaller parts then you'll go ahead and close that up push this to secure it then for this part you're going to lift it up and here it has the bottle holder you can remove this and that's where the heating element is so when you put this back in there dr brown's bottles come with this little part and you'll see here it has little circles on the sides. Oh, this fell through the top. Um, so you can just put those in a part like that. And then for the Komotomo bottles, they don't fit perfectly um, around because they're not, they're made for, you know, they're essentially a Dr. Brown's product. And then the Dr. Brown's bottles fit a little bit more easily inside. But I would just kind of. I always did about four at a time. And that's how I would layer the bottles. I would do four each. And then you could do the anti-colic parts. If you do use Dr. Brown's, this will be um, much more secured for those kinds of products. But what's nice about this, like I said, is you can use other brands. And then what you're gonna do is you'll close it up and then you'll plug it in, start the cycle. Cycle takes, roughly about 30-ish minutes. Um, and then I, when all, all is said and done, I would take these parts out and I would lay them. I have like a Boone drying rack, 
above my counter or you can lay out a towel and just make sure they're facing kind of on the side so that they can air out. And that's pretty much it. You do use distilled water for this. It helps elongate the life of the unit. And um, if you do have hard water at home, you know, it's good to descale it regardless, even if you're using distilled water. And I should say, when you do fill it up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it up the, you pour the distilled water in here. Um, I can't recall off the top of my head how much distilled water it will tell you in the user manual or you can look it up online. I'm sorry about that, I just don't recall. I have pregnancy brain, but you do fill up the water first and then you load this. And that's it. So I like it. I'm gonna continue to use this. I haven't even used it in probably, oh my gosh, probably close to a year because my son's been on solids, but um, definitely reusable for, you know, multiple babies. So keep this in mind as a good bottle sterilizer. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a little comment and I will get back to you. Um, but like I said, this product's been good to me. It's really easy to use and you don't have to sterilize your bottles every time you use them. You can just wash them by hand, but it is good to sterilize them occasionally. So um, just keep that in mind. But yeah, pretty, pretty easy to use. Thanks guys for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Dr. Brown's baby bottle sterilizer and stay tuned for more videos.